Hello everyone and welcome back to I am Technos. In today's video, we are exploring one of the capabilities in AWS Systems Manager called Inventory. Let's say you are a cloud admin managing dozens or even hundreds of instances. With Inventory, you can instantly check if a specific software is installed, what operating systems are running, or verify the patch statuses all from a single place. So what exactly is AWS Systems Manager Inventory? It's a feature that automatically collects metadata from your AWS resources and on-premises servers when enabled. It gathers information such as operating system versions, installed applications, network configurations, custom inventory data, and much more. And the best part is you don't need to log into individual instance to access this information. It's all centralized for easy viewing. To set up AWS Systems Manager Inventory, all you need is a managed instance. So what exactly is a managed instance? It's an EC2 instance that has the SSM agent installed and actively running, has an IAM role attached with the required AWS Systems Manager permissions. Once configured, the instance appears under managed nodes, making it eligible for inventory setup without any manual effort. To set up AWS Systems Manager Inventory, first create an IAM role with the relevant SSM policy attached. Then launch an EC2 instance with the SSM agent installed and attach the IAM role. Once the instance appears under the managed nodes, go to the AWS Systems Manager Inventory and configure the inventory collection settings. After setup, AWS Systems Manager will automatically start collecting metadata from the instance, which can be viewed directly from the inventory dashboard on your laptop. Now that we understand the steps, let's jump into the hands-on demonstration. I am in the AWS Management Console. Let's start by creating an IAM role. Search for IAM in the search bar and select it. You will be taken to the IAM dashboard. Click on roles under the access management in the left navigation pane. Then click on create role. Since we are creating this role to attach to an EC2 instance, choose EC2 under the use case and click next. Under add permissions, search for Amazon SSM managed instance core policy and select it. Then search for S3 full access policy and enable it as well. Click next, give a name to a role such as SSM role. Scroll down and click create. The role will be created successfully and will appear under the role section, as you can see here. Now in another tab, type and select EC2 from the search bar from there, Click on Instances in the left navigation pane and click on Launch Instances at the top right. Give the instance a name like um, SSM Inventory Instance. Choose Amazon Linux 2 as an AMI. Since it comes with the SSM agent pre-installed, use a default instance type T2 micro, which is Frita eligible one. Proceed without a key pair, as we won't be using one in this demo. Keep all the options as default for network settings and uh, for configure storage. However, under advanced details, choose the SSM role we created earlier, and then click Launch Instance. Finally, scroll down, click on View All Instances, and your instance will be reflected in the console. One way to check if the instance has uh, the SSM agent installed, all the EC2 instances with Amazon Linux AMI usually comes with the SSM agent pre-installed. To reconfirm it manually, select the instance, click on connect, and under the EC2 instance connect, click connect again, and wait for the session to establish. Then run the command, sudo systemctl status amazon ssm agent and you can see the agent is active and it's in running state to confirm whether the instance is managed instance go to systems manager by searching and selecting it from the um, search bar 
under no tools select fleet manager and you should see your instance reflected under the managed nodes if you are using fleet manager for the first time click get started when prompted you will be directed to the managed nodes page now that the instance is a managed instance let's see how to set up the inventory under the node tools select inventory and click setup inventory give a name like um, inventory amazon linux okay click manually selecting instances and enable the instance we launched recently you can choose how frequently you want inventory to collect the metadata for example every minute hour or day i'll select every day for this demo you can also specifically choose what data to collect by enabling or disabling options under the uh, parameter section for example if you don't want to collect a, let's say a billing info you can simply go and disable it okay under advanced you can enable sync inventory logs to s3 bucket by providing a bucket name so open a new tab um search for s3 and click on create a bucket give it a name like um ssm inventory uh, you can simply give a today's date okay now leave all other options as default and click on create a bucket after creating the s3 bucket click on the bucket name to open it navigate to the permissions tab and under the bucket policy click edit now paste the policy that allows the aws systems manager to upload objects into this bucket don't forget to replace the placeholder with your actual bucket name in the resource section once done click save changes to apply the policy now copy the bucket name go back to the inventory page paste it here and optionally specify a prefix if you want i'm leaving it blank as i want all logs stored directly into my s3 bucket finally click setup inventory once you set up the inventory aws starts collecting metadata from your instance this usually takes just 1 to minutes i have waited enough for the collection to complete now go to settings tab to view the inventory association and inventory association is basically an automation link between the systems manager and your managed instances it uses the sm document aws gather software inventory to collect inventory data such as installed applications network configurations and os information from your instances at regular intervals if you are new to ssm documents please refer to my video on aws ssm documents linked in the description below now back to the settings tab you will see an association id a unique identifier for this association the association name for example inventory amazon linux which is the custom name we gave when setting up the inventory the last execution date shows the most recent time the inventory collection ran status shows success if the data was collected and processed successfully and resource status count indicates how many instances succeeded or failed in this case it's one now inside the dashboard you will notice an option uh, to filter by resource groups tags or inventory types this feature helps you narrow down and view specific managed instances based on tags uh, resource groups or type of inventory data collected it is especially useful when you are managing a large number of ec2 instances now under the dashboard filter it shows a few widgets that display the number of ec2 instances that the systems manager inventory successfully enabled the next widget is about predefined inventory types predefined inventory types are the built in data categories that aws collects automatically from your managed instances without any custom setup for example aws file data category collects metadata about specific files or file paths if configured 
AWS instance information collects OS name, version, platform, instance ID, and IP addresses. It displays how many of the managed instances are reporting each predefined inventory type. For example, some data categories that are not being collected, it shows as zero. The next widget shows the custom inventory type. These are user-defined data categories that you can create and collect from the managed instances. For example, you can create custom inventory types to collect the location of log files, antivirus status, and much more. As I have not created any custom types, it's currently showing nothing. The next widget gives a quick view of most common operating system versions running across your managed instances. Since we launched the EC2 instance using Amazon Linux AMI, it shows the same. Another widget lists the most commonly installed applications found across your inventory enabled instances. The next widget shows the top five server roles. It displays what the server is intended for, like being a web server, uh, a file server, or a domain controller. Think of it as a job title of the server. This is especially for Windows instances. And the last widget, shows the top five services. It displays the services currently running in the background to make things work like the web server process or the SSH daemon, yeah? Now at the bottom of the page, you will see corresponding managed instance. If you click on the instance, it will direct you to the managed nodes under the fleet manager. You may also see an error message saying the page you try to visit does not exist. You can safely ignore this error as AWS might still be working on the UI as of May 2025. Now click on the instance. Select the inventory tab from the left sidebar. You will see a list of available inventory types. For example, AWS application shows all the installed applications or packages on the instance. AWS component displays the AWS SSM agent version and status. It also includes a Python-based scripts and tools provided by AWS to help bootstrap and configure EC2 instances launched using the cloud formation. And AWS network, for example, shows network interfaces, including the IP addresses, MAC address, and other network-related details if collected. Since this is a Linux instance, you won't see any details under the Windows registry, the Windows role, or the Windows update. Now, imagine doing all this manually across dozens of instances. So traditionally, you would SSH into each instance, run scripts, and manually collect software versions. Now with inventory, everything is automated, scheduled, and centralized. So for testing purpose, I have now launched an another EC2 instance named as test to node And this instance showing up as a managed instance under the fleet manager. However, since we have not enabled inventory for it, the inventory tab appears empty. And it's same for all the components. Okay. Now let's head back to the inventory and open the detailed view tab. Here you can either select an existing resource data sync or a create a new one. So resource data sync is a feature in AWS Systems Manager that automatically aggregates inventory data like managed instances, installed applications, and AWS components from multiple accounts and regions into single S3 bucket. So this is especially useful in multi-account or multi-region environment where manually collecting and analyzing data can be challenging. With the resource data sync, once the data is synced to S3 bucket, you can easily analyze it using tools like Amazon, Athena, QuickSight, or even Redshift. Now let's see how to create a resource data sync. Enter a unique sync name. I am naming it as sync test. Next, provide the name of your existing S3 bucket. I'm copying the S3 bucket name and I'm pasting it here. 
Bucket prefix is optional. Uh, you can enter a prefix if you want the inventory data to be stored inside a specific folder path within the bucket. Now choose whether the bucket is in this region or another region. I'll keep it as this region, which is US East 1. And if your S3 bucket is encrypted with a KMS key, a key management service key, you can provide the ARN here. I'm leaving it blank for now, okay? AWS also provides an equivalent CLI command automatically if you want to create the sync using the command line. Now, once you have filled in the details, click on a create button at the bottom right. So you should now see a confirmation message that the resource data sync was successfully created. Now that our resource data sync is created, let's see how we can view its details and verify if everything is working properly. So here you will see a list of all your syncs. In our case, you will see the one we just created named sync test. So click on the sync name, sync test. You will see the inventory type. This lets you choose what kind of inventory you want to view. For example, if I select AWS application, it shows all the software packages installed on your managed instances. So you can scroll through or export this data using the export to CSV button or even run advanced queries using the Amazon Athena. Now let's switch to the S3 console, open the S3 bucket, make sure you refresh the page. Open the bucket you specified earlier. Inside the bucket, you will notice folders with different inventory types. When you open one of the folders, you will see these folders are organized by the account, the region, and even the sync timestamp. Okay, and uh, you will find these files ending in a JSON format. So go ahead and download one. And when you open it, you will see the detailed information collected from your EC2 instances, exactly what AWS Systems Manager gathered during the inventory sync. Okay, now let's proceed with the cleanup. So starting with the association, um, the association in the settings tab under inventory cannot be deleted from here. Instead, navigate to the state manager under the node tools. Select the association and click delete and confirm the deletion. To delete the resource data sync, go to inventory. Click resource data syncs in the top right corner. Select the one that was created and click delete and confirm the deletion. Now go to EC2 dashboard to terminate both the EC2 instances. Select both instances under instance state, click terminate and confirm the action. Now go to S3 dashboard, select the bucket which you created. First empty the bucket, and then delete it by providing the bucket name. You will also see another bucket appears when you create the resource data sync, empty and delete this bucket as well. And lastly, delete the IAM role. So select the role which you have created, Click delete and confirm the deletion by entering the role name. And that wraps up our deep dive into AWS Systems Manager Inventory. We covered almost everything from setting up managed instances to enabling inventory collection and even syncing data with resource data sync. With this tool, managing and tracking your AWS resources become far more efficient and automated, saving you both time and effort. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and happy learning.